All right, I have some great news. I have decided to trade in Optimus Prime, my Model X P90D Ludicrous, for this thing, the BMW i8. Yes. So you know, the last car I had before uh, I went to full electric was uh, a BMW 525D E61, and I've always been uh, a Beamer lover, and this was my great chance to finally get my dream car, which is the i8. So just look at it. I mean, in Norway. Especially in Oslo, you know, everyone and their mother has a Tesla. So just remember that, you know, back in, in back in the days in 2013, when I when I got Millennium Falcon, I got it because you know it was different. Nobody has it nowadays. Everyone has it, and then well, but then I eventually got the, the Model X, and that was also pretty cool. Uh, but then now everyone drives a Tesla a Model X or S, so it's not cool anymore. So I had to get this one because with the i8 there's almost nobody who has it and people are looking at it and they take photos of it you know it's cool it has those cool doors it's different from the model x doors and oh it's so noisy in here let me go inside and continue all right we are inside now just look at yeah that guy over there he was looking at my car he's still looking at my car you see <laughs> yes yeah, so I, I don't know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, oh no, but this car has no space, no cargo space. What are you gonna do what, with the Nimber task? Well, okay, it has basically no space. I can I can not even fit a furniture in here, and the back is just yeah, no space. But whatever, you know, I I, I don't have to do the Nimber task anymore. I. Uh, I make enough money from uh, YouTube and uh, you know I realize that the the follower base I mean the the, the number of uh, Tesla drivers is so small compared to all the potential BMW followers I can get yeah so you know, I would just try to hog all the BMW lovers instead and move to that fan base yeah so uh, in the long run you know I can I can make money off of just YouTube video I don't have to transport stuff I, I can I can take maybe some VIP packages some urgent tasks yeah then then I can use this car I have to burn through a lot of gas of course yeah I have endless uh, cost of gas but I guess you know if I make like a company and I can I can write off that gas cost as you know uh, expenses yeah to to cut down uh, uh, so I don't have to pay too much tax and I can probably also write off off a lot of depreciation on this car off the tax yeah uh, and but you know what it is a plug-in hybrid it has a whooping 7.1 kilowatt hour battery so in a full charge I can get about 23 kilometers yeah so like right now i'm just plugging in here you always wanna be a b c always be charging with this car yeah because you have so long range but uh i can always just you know grab some free juice at uh, like this one a uh, um, municipality charger yeah it's slow it's only 3.7 kilowatt but that's fine i have all the time in the world because you know uh, i yes okay i waste some time here using up but uh, I was gonna slack here anyway, right? And um, but in the, on the other hand, I don't have to waste time at those superchargers. Those charging brakes are like killing me. You know, if we wanna go on a long trip, let's say one thousand kilometers, I just wanna drive one thousand kilometers non-stop, no peeing, no eating, and then I can stop, and then I can refuel while I'm having a hot dog, um, and then I just wanna drive another one thousand kilometers. Yeah. I don't want to deal with all the crap, but oh, oh, what well, is that supercharger free? Is this supercharger free? I don't have time to stop for half an hour, one hour to charge up. I just want to drive. That's that's the thing. This is this is the ultimate driving machine, you know, the BMW. Yes. Oh, so um, yeah, I think that's um, yeah, and also, also you know, today I had to I had to drive a Model S, and after driving this BMW, this awesome machine. For, for a couple of days, you know, when I sat in the Model S and I started driving, it felt like a boat. Yeah, it was like wagging and it was like sitting so tall. But this thing is like, it's like a go-kart. It just sits so low and it's so light and it's so nimble and that fake sound. Oof, yeah. Achtung, get out of the way. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, okay, 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 okay. The fake sound, yes, uh, the, the, 
th this one has a three cylinder Mini Cooper engine. So uh, obviously it's not the V8. Uh, so there comes some fake sound out of this. But you know, the BMW uh, engineers, they did a great job um, tuning that sound to match the the rev everything you know it's it's a good fake sound yeah just put it that way i you know i used to in the old days i used to make some uh, some uh, modules in the fast tracker 2 yeah for you guys who know what that is i don't know as i played with like instruments and samples and i know that it it requires a lot to to just make this fake sound it has to match the rev the speed everything right so BMW, they did a great job. It's fake, but it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's so nice to listen to that fossil engine again. You know that. Yeah. So um, you know, who cares if it's fake, right? Uh, like you know, uh, fake boobs. They are, they are fake, but they look good. They they're nice to touch, right? So who cares? It's fake. I like it. Yeah, I want to live in the matrix. Maybe you don't like it, but yeah, who cares about what you think? Yeah. Uh, so and also about the environment uh, Yeah, okay, we burn I have to burn more fuel I have to kill polar bear uh, kids uh, polar bear babies, but you know uh, Electric cars they are not that great either, you know because they have that dirty battery Yeah, and eventually what's gonna happen, you know after 20 years when the battery is done after it's been you know uh, The car is maybe they, they want to swap it and then after 10 more years at a station of the battery, then they have to get rid of it. What's gonna happen to the battery then, huh? Huh? After driving 1 million kilometers with that EV, right? So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just silly. Yeah, I realize it's silly. So, but I think I'm gonna stop my rant now. I will enjoy the BMW i8. Yes, people are looking at me. I think that guy was looking at me. Yeah, this is, this is, this is why I like it. I'm a t attention whore. Yeah, I just, a lot of people to look at my car. You know what, what? What I should do? I should just okay. Okay. There, there, there are some people coming here. So just gonna open the door, right? To get some extra attention, right? So now we open. Oh, it's it's very dark now. But anyway, so I open the door, and this is just like it was with uh, the Model X in the old days. Because if you did this in the Model X, people will look at your car, and then yeah. So <laughs> yes. Uh. I have achieved what I needed to do. Ugh. Okay, let's close it because you wanna. It's so quiet, nice and quiet in here. So uh, I think um, that's it. No more EV for me. No more of that EV crap. Yeah, I just wanna go full uh, fossil again. Back to fossil. Yeah. Uh, I think my battery is full. By the way, I've been charging for like. No, it's not. Oh, it's so slow. Oh shit. I have what? I have twenty percent stable charge. Yeah. It's gonna take, it's gonna take about two more hours if we wanna finish this. Yeah, but you know the fastest way to charge up this uh, this, this tiny battery is to run it on sport mode. Yeah, in sport mode, you burn some extra fuel and then you charge up the battery. Yeah. But uh, I think uh, that's it. I hope you enjoy my channel. So for you guys who still want to follow me, yeah, great. Let's burn some fossil dinosaur juice. And for the rest of you guys who uh, wanna leave my channel, then. Well, too bad for you. Yeah, environmentalist. Yeah. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, from now on, you're gonna see awesome road trip videos. No charging, only driving, 1,000 kilometers at a time. Yeah. So uh, see you guys later.